Hello everyone. Uh, every once in a while I'll get a nice material that I want to try and I just buy it. And this time I bought some UV uh, foil. It's, I'll just show you, it's pretty translucent as you can see here. A little bit stretchy. It has these pink dots on it and when you just let put a shine on it it's like disco ball. So I think it may be very interesting to the fish and I decided to make a fly uh, caddis nymph pretty si simple nothing special about it it's just this foil that I think it's gonna make all the difference in this case so it's like a shack nymph pretty simple two dubbings foil ribbing tungsten that's it simple as that and it's gonna be a fish catcher I'm sure so let's go so the hook is size 12, Gamaris hook, uh, bead is 3.5 I think, I'm not sure. Uh, I just use the smaller one than I usually use on this size hook because I want this to be a bit slimmer and the place where I want to use it is shallow and the water is very very slow so I'm gonna actually strip it along the bottom so it's a little bit different. It's not trout. It's some Chinese type of it's Chinese fish, so a little bit different type of fishing. So first of all, I'm gonna add some copper wire. Fine. You can use whatever you want, but I just chose this one because it matches the bead color and the thickness. It can be thicker than this one, but I don't have it to be honest. So I'm just using fine one. I don't care. And these fish, they don't have teeth as strong as trout, so. This is gonna be just fine. Now I like I like to use and uh, this hook. I like to go a little bit more into the bend to suggest curved body. And if you think about it, like nymphs, they're never like straight under the water. They always wiggle. They're fighting with the current. So most of the time they have some curved shape of shape of the body. They don't have straight body. So these hooks actually make make more sense than the straight ones for nymphs if you ask me but I use straight ones the most so uh, at this point I'm gonna attach a little bit if you need it heavy just add some lead but at this point I'm gonna attach this foil and I'm gonna just make tip a little bit sharp like pointy so I can catch it more easily when you fold it back uh, 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 over the body of the nymph I want it to cover the whole body so that's why I want to catch it a little bit deeper so when I fold it this way the the whole width goes over the, the body for the body I'm gonna use a mixture of one of my favorite mixtures I mean whatever video you you see me making I'm using this wildcat dubbing with some UV in it so I just love it and it's good and I'm just gonna make if you do it like too much if you take too much like this you're gonna get you're gonna create a big big thick uh, noodle so what you want to do work your dubbing uh, remove all those bundles of fur that you have inside or maybe you don't so just pick out a little bit of dubbing press it against your thread and spin it and then go the next one and next one and go like that and try to create as even noodle as possible because these flies they have pretty even body not too much taper there uh, there is a little bit of taper at the rear and that's more or less it. The whole body is more or less uniform, like the uh, same width. So I'm trying to make same thickness of the noodle as you can see. And when I think I have enough, I'm just gonna wrap it around the body, like so. And the thinner the body, actually, the uh, more easier is gonna be for your fly to sink which can be very important if you're trying to reach some depth so I'm making a noodle to cover a little bit of 
a little bit more of the body but I'm gonna leave enough room for the thorax part and I think I just covered it enough yeah so at this point what I like to do is I like to cover it and I like to center it as much as I can so pinch it with your thumb here check is everything okay you don't need to stretch it just a little bit maybe now catch it here and that's it I use too many reps right now but that's fine now what I like to do is just rip everything to make it more durable this foil seems pretty durable but it won't be like it won't last forever uh, so ribbing is gonna help even when the trout breaks it I mean this UV is gonna show through those because the ribs are gonna keep some pieces uh, caught under it so that's it now I'll fold it back because I want to cover the whole nymph and I'm gonna start my fly from here uh, my thorax part from there and for the thorax I'm using squirrel fur squirrel fur with UV dubbing so this is like disco ball nymph UV nymph whatever you wanna call it probably UV nymph because it's gonna be so shiny and it's not very obvious I mean when you just look at it it's not so shiny at all but for the fish which actually probably can see UV spectrum of light way more than we can do I think it's gonna be interesting especially for maybe some muddy waters I'd like to see or I'd like to hear your thoughts about it if you had any experience uh, I had few uh, situations quite a few actually where a fish would attack a fly with UV and wouldn't attack fly without it so I do think that it helps on our flies so I'm just building up this there there is a hole here so I'm just gonna fill it in with a fur you don't sorry you don't have to make a tight noodle because this is gonna suggest legs so what I like to do is I like to pull those fibers down like so now you can see it's flat and just cover it hold it now with loose wrap catch it now second wrap and then go in front of it and make one of it finish there actually I like to make two and the third one is gonna be to cover up everything so if you want to cover up your will finish knot take like very very small pinches of fur make very thin uh, preferably compact noodle and quite short like this is max two centimeters long so below it catch it with your whip finisher and then just go with your whip finishing tool like so and cover everything here so as you can see there is no thread visible now if you want you can do this actually I like to come out even this part here to suggest some gills maybe and that's finished fly quite uh, easy to tie even for beginners I think it's uh, very very good I mean I've used something similar not the exact one because this is new material for me and let me show you that again it's like a disco ball so as you can see half of the fly is quite visible under UV light and half is not so thank you very much for watching I hope you like this video and see you next time